Today, we are going to be balancing the equation of nitrogen gas, N2, plus hydrogen gas, which is H2, and that yields ammonia, which is NH3. I already wrote out a chart and the elements that I see that are the same on both the left and the right sides, aka the reactants and the products. All we have to do is just write out the total number, and then we'll start balancing. Let's start with the left. For the nitrogen, I see that I have two nitrogen, so I'm going to put a two here. And then for the hydrogen, I see that I have a two here, so that tells me that I have two H's or two hydrogens. On the product side, I just see an N. There's no subscript next to the N, so that means that there's one nitrogen. And then for the hydrogen, there's three of them. So I'm going to put a three here. Now, just balance the one that looks easiest for you. Seems that it's easier to balance the nitrogen than the hydrogen. Always start with the lower number and multiply to get to the higher number. One times what will get me to two? One times two. And whatever number you said is the coefficient of the element that you tried to balance. So I'm going to put a two here. But now we have to play fair. Every time that you put a coefficient in front of a compound, you have to multiply it by each individual element. In this case, I have to multiply it by nitrogen and hydrogen. So I have two nitrogens. So that was the purpose of this whole thing. And then I have two times three hydrogens, which is a total of six. Now the nitrogens are balanced. Let's just balance the hydrogen. Two times what will get me to six? Two times three. And that number is the coefficient in which the hydrogen on the left-hand side, so I'm going to put a three here. Three times two, that's the only element there, so I don't really have to worry about distributing. Three times two is six, and the nitrogens are balanced, and the hydrogens are balanced. So the balanced equation is we have one N2 plus three H2s, which will yield two NH3s. I hope this video has helped. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a like, and if you want to help us out, press the subscribe button. Thank you so much. Good luck on your tests and quizzes, and I will see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.